Oh, he's been phenomenal. Uh, just getting all the rebounds for us, and uh, he's a big reason why. Uh, you know, I know we're not the best defensive team, but without him, we'd be a lot worse. How much has he? Obviously, when he got here, no one really knew because he got limited minutes. How much has he surprised you guys? With what he did, relentless on both He surprised us all. Um, just uh, everything, um, offense, defense, uh, his ability to pass the ball. And so uh, he's been huge, huge for us. And uh, as the season has gone on, we've relied on him more and more. What, what did you think of uh, um, the reception in the documentary game? Oh, uh, it's cool. I'm thankful for it. But uh, that's kind of secondary right now. Um, you know, it's still not a finished product, so we're still working on it. And, uh, but we're thankful that people like it so far. Can you talk about this homestand, how important it is, especially this point, but you know you're here, you just got to take care of business. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the best thing about it all is that um, we can't blame uh, anybody or anything uh, for anything that happens from here on out. We have no excuses. We have a great schedule. Uh, so it's, it's in our hands, and that's, that's, uh, that's what we want. And so we're just going to control you know, what we can control. And all I know is if we keep winning, um, if we put together a win streak, no one will ever catch us. We just, um, we're going to hopefully keep building on our, our record. And, and that's kind of the thing that the coaches have been talking about today is like we've lost five games to sub-500 teams within the last, I don't know, however much. Uh, much time. What do you think of Beverly's play here over the last month or so? Great. Uh, he's a great defensive player, and um, he, you know, he can. He just gives us so many extra possessions, like that might not always show up, but just little things, deflections, offensive rebounds, steals, and uh, picking up full court, uh, causing them to start their offense further up. Jeremy, the, the losses to the sub-500 teams, is, is that a particular concern for you at all in terms of what it might indicate towards this team's mindset? Yeah, I think um, it's good and bad because, like, I guess the good thing is that at least we're able to compete and beat some of the top teams in the league. It's also bad because it just shows that either we're complacent or we don't respect them as much or we play down to our competition or one of the, all of the above. So um, the positive is that it is in our hands and that um, we've shown we can beat better teams, so uh, we really have no excuse for losing. What are some keys to not playing down the competition right now? Uh, just, I think it's a mindset thing. Um, I think it's having that killer mindset. Um, the way we came out against Oklahoma, um, that's how we have to come out against all these teams, even if it's a back-to-back -back or, or a team that uh, people don't expect to beat us. So we to get a shot at a team that you know you probably should have beaten just right away. Absolutely, game. absolutely. Um, we're, we're, gonna, we're looking forward to Wednesday. and um, They did a great job. They totally outplayed us. Uh, we watched it on film today. Um, they out, outworked us, and so we want to be able to kind of rectify that. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you.